Hey, Sneaky Lewis Man tonight. Tonight, we're looking at presentation software. Now, we're a bit limited in Linux here, as you have to have an office suite to do it. I've not found any uh, single ones out available. So, here's Open Office for presentation, or whatever they want to call it nowadays. And you have to go through the wizard, well, you don't have to, but this is the first thing you get. You go through it, it takes a little bit of time. It does work, it's super duper, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. But you have to have the full office suite. Now that's about a 280 meg download, and if you're on a, a, a slow connection, that's not very good, is it? But there is an alternative. We have K Presenter. Hmm, yes, there is. Part of the K Office suite. Now I know not a lot of people use this, but it does the job, and it's a lot, lot smaller. So, you know, give it a go. So, before we have a proper look at it, we'll go to the website. So it's the K-Office website, and this is the K-Presenter page. It tells you all about it, what you want to know, what you want to do, the screenshots there and everything else. So I'll show you a couple of screenshots, shall I? Yeah, I don't know if I can't be asked, really. No, I will do one. There's some screenshots what they give you. So yeah, everything can be done in K-Presenter, which is really, really nice. But do you have to fill at the full K-Office suite? Well, unfortunately, you can't download it as a single application normally but if you have Ubuntu or Debian you can actually just specify just for that part of it so that's not too bad but on the other hand if you're not using that you have to go to the HTTP servers or FTP servers and download the full suite now I'll go to one here look now the basic one here is about 54 megs so compared to 200 odd that's a lot lot smaller I, I know it was a tar file I know I know before you tell me oh, I'll have to build it and all that but yeah, you can still get it. I'll try and have a mirror just in case. But they're all going to be about the same size, about 50 odd for the tar file. As you can see there, look. and it's old as well, that one. It's quite small. But if you don't mind compiling yourself, it's not a bad idea. But if you've got one of the big repos, it will be in your repositories anyway. So you, can, you may be able to just download the bit you want. So it's pretty cool anyway. So if you can do that, it's quite a lot smaller. I'm not sure I'm puppy, but then again. We can do that in puppy now, can't we? Remember? So here's K Presenter. Comes up really quick. Nice. Does the job what I want it to do. You can import your own stuff if you really want to. That's whatever you want to do. That's what all the others does, really. So you know you can't moan. If you want a smaller app, this is gonna to have to be the one you go through for the time being until somebody comes out with something that's just a standalone. But they're all part of Office Suites at the moment, I'm afraid. It's nothing I can do about that or you can do about that. Or you could, if you build one yourself. Oh, yes. As you can see, all the tools have just flashed through there for you. It's all standard, all normal. They're all the same, really. I mean, it's just the KDE desktop, basically. I'm running it on uh, GTK. So, yeah, about Composer, stuff, authors, translations, and license agreements, all the usual. But it can be done. So, if you've got a small distro and you really, really want a presentation program, you're going to have to basically recompile it, I'm afraid to say. Nothing more I can say about that one there. But it's all right, though. It's fine. It's only 50 hot big. No big one. Yeah. Sorry about that. I'll try and find one. Sneaky Linux out.